So I wanted to show a final video on this car of the caster system that I built for it and talk a little bit about how that's working and uh, um, how, or how it didn't work. Uh, actually, it worked okay. It would have worked great had I had an easy, clear path to bring it around to the part of the yard where I wanted to store it. So, as it was, there was a lot of stuff in the way. I needed help bringing it around here. And uh, I got the help. We got it over here. It's not too hard to muscle around by yourself if you have just some open concrete or even dirt to push it on. But around here, I had a lot of obstacles in the way, so I needed help to maneuver it back here. So uh, we're going to walk around the car with the camera, and we'll look at the caster system and talk a little bit about it. So the front casters that I made for the car, pretty simple setup here. Uh, just some tubing, steel tubing. I got these casters at Harbor Freight, about 15 a piece. Put some slime in them and uh, pumped them up to about 30 pounds. They've been holding there okay. Uh, but you can see it's attached to the dash leg here in the front. I used some of the channel that I used to raise the car. And then there's some tubular steel. Some 2 by 3 here. This is uh, one inch. Uh, and uh, it's braced to a body mount back under the car. It's hard to see from this angle. But it runs back to that body mount that's under the front seat to brace it and on both sides, the one inch tubing. actually worked quite well but I just didn't have the turning radiuses to radius it around there's a rear just a piece of channel steel and uh, some tubular steel one inch tubular steel now that's kind of dark to see that but that's the rear body mount behind the rear seat and then this strut over here goes to another piece of channel that's bolted to the trunk body mount holes. I tried to keep it as straight as I could when uh, you know I just obviously did some measuring to it make sure it was going to be in line and fairly straight up and down so the forces on it weren't going to be too much and uh, it worked well as far as that goes uh, I'm going to need to use it again when I bring the body back around out front so that was one of the reasons I just put it up on these stands and this is where it's going to rest for the next Hopefully not very long. And, uh, so this is going to be uh, the sixth and final body off the frame video that I did for this project. And uh, further videos may not be forthcoming for a while. Yeah. Thanks for watching.